So there's our swordfish. We're gonna go smoke some. You can see this big piece of meat here sticking out. That's because the meat was really fresh when we cut it. And uh, you know, it swells on one side. So that's why I like to recommend if you can let it sit for a day, that's best before you fillet it. If not, you know, keep it in biggest chunks as possible because you don't want these giant, you know, bulbs on one side sticking out like that. It makes it harder to grill and harder to cook. Still tastes fine, but just tougher to cook. We're gonna do it a little different than normal. We're gonna cut it real thin and go put it on the smoker and kind of make like a fish jerky. We've done it one time before and it's not really good, so we we'll wanna try it again. Get rid of this bloodline. Nobody wants to eat the bloodline. Well, not many people. But we're gonna get this little thin piece down here. Underneath it. Look at that. Prime right there. And this is that piece that's uneven there. Getting closer to getting it even. You can see all the fat there. That's a really nice fish. You can see that white there? That's fat inside the fish here, inside the loin. That's what I call the heart of the swordfish there, the fillet of the steaks there. The top loin there, you can see where it cut out perfect just like that. And a lot, usually, a lot of people, when they smoke fish, they cook it with the skin on it. We're gonna do this section with the skin off on most of it. We got our little thinner steaks than usual right here. We're gonna season them up, put butter on some, olive oil on some, then they're going to smoke it for a couple hours. After we're getting herb olive oil with the usual fin and feather rub. Second half is getting butter with pork and poultry rub. We got a swordfish in the bag. We're gonna find out what he weighs. Ooh, that motor's hot. There you go. All right, All right mate. Four, one, two, three. Get in three. Oh yeah. Back in the water. That's the second time that's happened in a couple months. Uh, yeah, bull not around. <laughs> the yeah. fish went swimming and he's trying to get away. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the nurse are coming on. He tried to get away. <laughs> Comment below how much you think that fish weighs right there. How many pounds do you think that fish is? 
What do you think, Where's Bean? Nick? Where's little Nick? I said 215. 222. Now this is like Price is Right. If you go over, you lose. So we got 236, 222, 215. I said 210. I definitely want to be under because I don't want people thinking that I exaggerate. 228. 228. We got them all. What do you Let say? Mitt, what do you got? Yeah, pick them up there. Mick. There you go. 200 even, buddy? Oh, yeah. The moment of truth. We're going to find out what this swordfish weighs. Keep on going, Bean. All right, let's find out. There you go. That's good. Let's see what he weighs. Will you stop spinning in a circle, yeah. Bean? Hold on, hold on. What we got, Bean? 222. 222? What'd you say? 222. You did? <laughs> wow. 222 pounds. And he's losing blood quick. 222. Good job. You got it right. Wow, nice job. Nice. They guessed it. <laughs> 222. Two, two. Let's clean this big swordfish up and uh, see what the meat looks like. Here we go. Walking down his backbone here. Look at that. Up his belly here. I had a nice big knife, but the bean knocked in the water the other day, so <laughs> now I have a nice medium sized knife. Okay, because there, there was a part of their house. Yeah, they're pretty soft. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, There's one. Fresh loin. Yeah. Coming up. Loins. Slabbage. We have a lot of swordfish tonight. <laughs> we got swordfish. Nobody's going hungry. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I don't think we'll eat all this. We'll have to give it as gifts to people. Yeah, Anthony and Al. I'll give maybe one to Bo Pisano. Sure. Oh, yeah. Look at that Look slab at that. right there. Jeez. Beautiful. That's a chunk of meat there. Now we know what we're having for lunch. <laughs> and dinner. Uh, Right. And you need to have a swordfish special for a few days. Ryan, you better so be right filming like swordfish breakfast. You want yeah. this video to go viral. Like they do in uh, <laughs> Obiha. It's going to be like in Burnt when she makes that fish for every meal. And it's the, where it's more red, does that have... That's the blood line where the blood runs blood runs up and down. Usually we just cut that out like when I eat it. Just cook it with it in it, but I don't really eat it. Although on a swordfish, it's not as... Some fish is really fishy and strong. The bloodline of the swordfish isn't really too fishy. That's what like most restaurants serve it when you can still see the little brown piece when you cook it. That slab of meat there. Wow, nice play, Cap. Not bad, huh? We're getting better at it. Yeah. Break down to the spine. Only well, took a thousand of them, but we're getting there. <laughs> what we got here? He's deep though. We got our bait. He ate our bait right here. <laughs> There you go, oh 90, 90 VMC with a bonita strip, wow. a little purple and silver skirt on them. Got her hook back. We didn't forget that, that's good. The birds are coming in, be ready. They could attack. Do you ever find pollution in their bellies? Not them, but I have seen like bottle caps and plastic and dolphin. He's empty guys, that's why he was so hungry. All right, well there you go, that's half a big swordfish. If you're looking for a car or truck, check that guy out right there, Plantation Ford, yeah. and one other one. West of Nissan Volvo. West of Nissan Volvo. And the extra catch. And the extra catch. Follow us on follow the extra the catch. Ex get. Follow the extra catch too. On Instagram, right? Yes. On Instagram, right there. You see him cleaning up the, the ocean. Exactly. The swordfish is ready for the smoker. Here we go. We've got the smoker at 200 degrees. Ready for him. Alrighty, we'll check back in a couple hours. All right, it's been a few hours. Look at that smoked fish right there. Ooh, that looks good. And it smells really good too. Let's pull that off and see how it tastes. There it is.
All right, we got a piece of each swordfish. We're gonna see if Sadie wants to try a bite. There you go, Sadie. Take a little bite. What you think, you like it? Uh -uh. All right, Sadie ate a bite. She didn't spit it out. She's eating it, so I think she liked it. Now we're gonna let Sarah try a bite and tell us what she thinks. Looks good. It looks good. The question is, does it taste good? Yeah, it's really good. Is it good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot now. So we cut it a little thinner than normal, and then uh, we smoked it and we let it stay on there a little bit longer on purpose. Try something different. This is the butter one with a pork and poultry rub. They're good. Look how white it got. And it's almost like fish jerky. We cut it a little bit thinner than usual. And Sarah said we could even cut it thinner than that. But it is good. I'm gonna try this one too while we're at it. Nice little fish snack. Well, good. So both pieces are really good. It is a little dry. No, it's not. I think it's dry. Sarah says it's not. Sadie came back for seconds. You gonna go give it to Grandma? Sadie's giving it to Grandma. To Mima. Thank you. Yum, she says. <laughs> Good job, Sadie. We were going for more of a jerky, like, well done. And that's what we got? That's perfect, if you ask me. <clears throat> yeah, if you wanted more of like, just like a cooked fish on the grill, then you could have done an hour less and it would have been juicier, but it's more jerky. Like. Sadie. All righty, so we did cook it for a while, and uh, you know we made like kind of like smoked fish jerky, and it is really good. We're gonna give some to the guys at the marina tomorrow and get their opinion too. You want Sarah's recipe? Mine's better. She says hers is better. It's even better, like a day or two old. It's smokier. We're letting my little cousin try it. She's a fish there. She's got on a flipper. Mm. Now tell the truth. Do you like it or not? I love it. You do? Okay, good. She said she loves it. She's being nice. Now we're letting cousin no, Tiffany Eva try it. Fish. Oh, Eva loves fish actually. Now it's smoked fish, so you know it's different. No, it's good. Cut it thinner, kind of made it more like jerky. Do you like it? Oh, it's really good. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, they all said they like it. So we cooked a bunch of extra fish. We're sharing the wealth now. Sharing the fish. You, you didn't spit it out, more. did you? No. Did you eat it? Give her more. She's eating it. <laughs> Give her more. She needs more. The mermaid's hungry. You want it is really smoky, I like it. Oh, it's even better in the fridge a day or two. So I think after we put it in the fridge, after we cooked it, we let it sit in the fridge for a couple days, we've been snacking on it. It's even better, I feel like. And you can really taste that smoke flavor. We're gonna get the beans opinion on the swordfish. Smoke swordfish two different ways. He helped pull that fish in there and catch it. Let's see what he thinks. Oh, is we that, got, is that frozen? Yeah, it's frozen, I think. Oh, wow. I like the bags. So, so we got Sarah's is the, Pork and poultry rub with the orange buttery sauce. Let's go. But you just sure. peel it right off the skin. Try that one first. I know, we're good. Now we need an honest opinion on what you think. Do you take it and chew it up? No, I'm gonna try both. And then you're gonna test what you like better? No, yeah, I'm gonna try both. First. Okay. All right, Sarah. So that's Sarah's. All right, Sarah. And then my mix was the other one. What'd you do with this one? Uh, fin and feather rub with olive oil. Mm. Herby. It's almost like a jerky. Yeah. Jerky, we dried out a little bit. We cooked it long on, on purpose just for a little snack. Hmm. We're gonna put some meat on his bones, so. Sarah, I think you take home the W on this one. Oh no, he said Sarah's is better. <laughs> yep. Better? Yep, Sarah got you, man. Alrighty. Now wait, wait. Comment below if you think I should go to Nick's house and show him how to cook fish the Italian way. Now Brandon says he can cook. He wants to come over and cook a big meal. Let us know if you think he should. If you want to see the bean in the kitchen, let us know, comment below. He's still snacking on it, so. All right, I'm gonna finish this. He's finishing, it wasn't bad, it was good. Nice and different too. We're signing out here, we're at Bud and Mary's Marina. We'll see you all next time. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Subscribe and stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye, Bud and Mary's.